हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज बाय जूस एग्जाम प्रेप दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ सुपर सैटरडे वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द नो द लीजेंड सेक्शन एंड टू डेज लीजेंडरी पर्सनैलिटी अबाउट होम वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इज नन अदर देन सर जेम्स वॉट सर जेम्स वॉट इज रेफर्ड एज द फादर ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ही वॉज अ स्कोटिश रिसर्चर इंजीनियर मकैनिक कैमिस्ट एंड सोन my dear when we are talking about sir james watt he is known for his contribution in the field of steam engine which resulted into the industrial revolution of that time of great britain and when we are talking about his life he born on 19 january 1736 in greenhawk city of scotland his initial education was from the village school where he learned yunani latin mathematics he was six out of his eight brothers and sisters when he was 17 years old he started going with his father to the workshop as his father was a ship maker he was having a very big workshop and when sir james watt was going to that workshop he got a lot of interest in the machineries like at that time many steam engines were coming for repairing purpose in that workshop and he used to see what is going to happen in the components and all those things one day when he was there in the workshop he have seen that there was a kettle in which the water was boiling and because of the pressure of steam you can see the there is a top of the uh, kettle dhakkan that was going up and down so by looking at that he was too much impressed by the power of steam and when he was impressed by the power of steam he started thinking in that direction but then unfortunately in 1753 his mother got died after that uh, business of his father also went to a fall and the time was such that he have to work as an apprentice in the watch maker shops and some workshops and then he worked hard and just within some years around 1757 he was capable of starting his own small workshop and then he start working and one day an engine came for repairing purpose when we are talking about steam engine the history is very old for the very first time steam engine was proposed or introduced by hero in first century which is named as hero's engine hero engine so after that many improvements happened and the engine which came to sir james watt workshop it was a newcomer engine so he have seen that engine and he have made a lot of uh, changes in that he provided a condenser there provided lubricant to reduce the friction and also he provided leak proof arrangement to avoid the wastage of steam and when he have done that the efficiency of that engine was improved too much although steam engine were coming from the first century but we are giving main contribution we are assuming that sir james watt have done the major contribution in the steam engine and that is why we always uh, refer him for this uh, contribution as the father of mechanical engineering so the point is he increased the efficiency of engine too much and at that time he got patent of that and also my dear when he worked for this wonderful engine this engine was used for taking the drainage water out from the mines at that time and my dear he have given a lot of a lot of patent at that time some patents were related to the introduction to furnace some were related to the copy of words some were related to increase the speed around the planet or earth and total 5 to 6 patents were there on his name and based on that he earns at that time 76000 dollars which was a very big amount so guys coming back to his personal life in 1764 he married and after some time his wife died then he married again and after that as i already told you till 1790s he was a very rich person because he earned 76000 dollars from the patents at that time so my dear when we are talking about sir james watt he have given a lot of contribution in the field of governors the very first centrifugal governor was given by him he wanted to maintain the constant speed in his locomotive engine the reason was 
to maintain or to get the higher efficiencies because efficiency was highest in some particular range of speed. So when we are talking about his contribution, he have also given a pressure measuring device, which is said to be Watts indicator mechanism. So if we see his contribution, they are countless. So my dear, by looking at his contribution in 1800, Glasgow University awarded him the degree of uh, uh, law as well as doctorate, degree of doctorate. Then my dear, after that in 1814, also Vigyad Academy awarded him. So he got a lot of awards at that time of his life. He was the first, first person to work on the control system which is related to electronics field. My dear, as he was having a lot of money, he started his own business with his friend known as Boulton and Watt Company, which have done a lot of research work at that time. Then in the later stages, he have given his business to his children. And after that, he was also getting interest into the paintings. But he didn't left, uh, the, he didn't leave the work of research. He continued that. So, at the later stages, he also faced a lot of political criticism, but still he continued his work of research and even in the last days, he have made another machine which was uh, used for the stone sculptures, for poured Pashad sculptures and this was a unique machine of that time. So, for that also credit goes to him. Then, my dear on 25th of August 1890, he died. So, we will salute to such a personality for his contribution towards the engineering and other areas. So, when we are talking about Sir James Watt, already all of you are aware, the unit of power is joule per second, but we call it as Watt, just to give regards to Sir James Watt. So, guys, maybe these stories of those wonderful legend or legendary personalities may not help you in the examination, but they will definitely inspire you to work in such a way that you also give some contribution in the field of engineering. So that is why we are coming up with such a wonderful series. So just stay tuned with us and if you want a story on some particular uh, legend, you can also mention that in the comment section, we will be coming up with that story soon. So goodbye guys for this session. Thanks for joining.